Metallurgical and Materials Engineering by Carla Ferrelli Prisanio. Metallurgical and Materials Engineering is in fact two different engineering degrees put together. Metallurgy is a study of alkyne metals, which is one family on the periodic table. Metallurgical engineers do not one, not two, but three different types of engineering. The first type of engineering metallurgical engineers do is extractive metallurgy engineering. The second type of engineering metallurgical engineers do is mineral processing. And the last type of engineering metallurgical engineers do is physical metallurgy. Material engineering is very obvious the study of materials. Material engineers create materials for every single type of technology we have today and open doors for new technology. Material engineers create materials for electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, engineering, chemical engineering, nuclear engineering, constructional engineering, and the last one, which is my own personal favorite, biomedical engineering. There are many possibilities and options I can head with a metallurgical and materials engineering degree. The route I would love to take when I get my metallurgical and materials engineering degree is to pursue a master's degree in biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineers create prosthetics such as Prosthetic eyeballs, fingers and toes, legs and arms, and prosthetic hearts. Biomedical engineering is unfortunately not a bachelor's degree. In order to become a biomedical engineer, I first need to get a degree in metallurgical and materials engineering. Getting a bachelor's degree in metallurgical and materials engineering is important because I will learn what prosthetics are made of, how I can make them with different materials of my choice, what I can make them with, and most importantly, knowing the more resourceful, available materials that can create high quality prosthetics at the lowest price possible.